Hi there, my beautiful Aries Tours. Welcome in to your reading. So today we are going to look into your month of September and see what we got going on for month uh, for, for month for a career and for love for your month ahead. And we're gonna start here with some overall energy to see what is going on. And that is basically it. If you're interested in getting this reading, exactly what you see here on YouTube, but personalized for you, uh, you can get that on Patreon. We have the look, uh, look, mama, I'm flying to you. And over there, you'll be emailed a uh, private reading for your month ahead every single month. So if you're interested, the link is going to be down below. We also have other extra readings over there. So definitely have a look. And you also see in the description box my tarot course, my decks, my journals, all of those beautiful things. So definitely have a look, but let's see here. What do we got? We have yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated, bag, something important such as a new job or a raise, sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start, fair women, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray or white hair. And then we have whipping willow, family sorrow. Um, I'm kind of getting that this is all kind of related to the same thing because I feel like perhaps your career hasn't been um, going... I don't, I don't know if it is not going in the right direction, but I feel like you've been feeling frustrated and you've been feeling like something is not working. And I feel like this month you may have this sunrise, you may have this new idea, a new opportunity, a fresh start that allows you to be at a more stable place, allows you to feel a little bit more fulfilled, more motivated as well. And I feel like it promises a lot of great things on that bag, okay? When it comes to relationships here, I do feel like there could be some sort of conflict here with a family member. And it could be this fair woman or just a woman, a more feminine energy. And I feel like that could be a little bit of a tough time to pass. But uh, I feel like everything is going to be okay in the end, okay? So just a heads up. We're going to get a little bit more information about what you can expect in that apartment. But um, just a little heads up that there may be some sort of conflict here. Just, you know, keep going and breathe. Okay, but let's see here. I already pre-shuffled a couple cards for you and we're going to start with career and then we're going to get into love. And I just noticed now that we have change course. So a closed door is an invitation from life to move in an even better direction. It's time to change course and that lines up so very well with that, uh, with this whole message here, right? Of new opportunities, of, you know, moving into a better direction that is more fulfilling, more, it motivates you more and the kind of thing. Okay, so if something wasn't working, take that as an invitation from life uh, to move into an even better direction. Okay, and then we also have patience. Is it, it is safe to wait. I feel like it is safe for you to put your energy into this. It is safe to, I don't know, to see things unfold. It is safe to give this time. It is safe to... I don't know, I'm really getting, like, it is safe to put your energy in this, because I feel like because you were feeling frustrated, maybe a part of you is, how to phrase this, uh, maybe maybe scared is not the right word, but maybe a part of you is scared that you're just going to be another waste of energy, right? You're going to invest your energy in this, and then boom, there you go, I'm disappointed, that kind of thing, right? And I feel like your spirit guides are reassuring you, hey, no, it's okay. It's okay to put your energy in this. It's going to go very, very well, okay? So let's see here. What else do we got? Yeah, it may require a little bit of patience here. I have so many cards. Um, it may require a little bit of patience here with the Knight of Pentacles, but there is change and that change is going to lead to a lot of growth, okay? So you can only make this happen as you progress and as you put your energy in this. If you don't, nothing's going to happen, okay? So there's definitely some things for us to heal here, especially when it comes to those disappointments and frustrations, but then move forward again, towards the things that make you happy and towards the things that feel good to you and that make you feel like yourself. Put in all the effort, okay? I feel like this perhaps could involve either a new team or maybe a partner or someone will inspire you and it could be an idol or something like that. And I feel like it's going to help you overcome a little bit of these fears and insecurities. And I don't know, I feel like it's going to bring you a little bit more love, you know? So that's a really nice uh energy to have here and then with the queen of wands i feel like this is something that 
you know, we, we have new creative ideas. I feel like this is something that is creative. This is something that is powerful and beautiful. This is something that, I don't know, promises a lot of great things. Okay, so again, it is safe. And I feel like it may even be like a wish come true. Okay? So yeah, with this Knight of Swords, I feel like it's... I feel like your advice here is please move. You know, please do something about this. This is so good and has so much potential. Something needs to end here. And we have uh, water here, which could be drinking water. But in this case, it's like go with the flow, go crazy, step into this new experience. And with this, something needs to end. Don't hold on to anything from this previous experience. Really hold on to what you want to live and, and what you want to create in your life. Okay, you really try to go after those things and make them something. Make them happen. Okay? I keep hearing, it is safe, it is safe, please go, it's so good. Okay, so please go, <laughs> you know? Go crazy and make this happen. Okay, I feel like you're going to be quite supported here. Alrighty? So let's look at that uh, relationships portion. We have make the change, again, uh, with a number seven. And then we have 43, that sums up to a 7. So maybe repeating 7s could be significant for you this month. And we have space shift, uh, sh spaceship. Uh, don't be afraid to sing. I'm kind of getting here uh, some sort of situation. And apply this to love if you want to. I was kind of getting some sort of family energy. And maybe it could be, let's say you're already in a relationship and there's a family member getting in the way. Um, I'm kind of getting that this is about you standing up for yourself. It's like maybe you've been holding on or holding back. You've been biting your tongue and not saying much, you know, just allowing yourself to be in your corner and not do much. And I feel like now it's just come to a point where boundaries are being invaded. Uh, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of, I don't know, you don't feel comfortable in your love life or you don't feel comfortable with this person. It's just time to speak up and to ask for what you want and ask for what you need. And if that is space, please ask for it. Okay. Really feel like it's time for us to put some boundaries here. Yeah, because I almost feel hang in there. Before I start talking, let's just pull a couple more cards. And I feel like there was a flipper, but a pair there, there we go. There we go. Yep. So we have the ten of swords. We have the Two of Cups, the Moon, we have the Four of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, I'm kind of getting that this, if it's not about family, I feel like this could be about an ex, and it's just time for us to put some boundaries there, okay? Because it's not allowing you to either manifest love or to fully enjoy this relationship, whether it is not necessarily because you have still have feelings for that person, but I feel like it's holding you back when it comes to wounds and insecurities and... I don't know, just traumas from that previous relationship and it's time to put some boundaries there okay so if it is a matter of insecurities and wounds maybe journal a little bit about it okay and see what am I still holding on to what is still what am I so scared of is there anything from my previous relationships that I'm scared that it may happen again right and awareness I feel like it's the first key to healing and I feel like journaling and reflecting a little bit on that can really help you out with that. And that is one scenario. So someone from the past could be, you know, holding back and still leaving a lot of wounds. Or maybe still with a physical presence that it's not allowing you to move forward and manifest a beautiful love for yourself. And truth is, you're having such a beautiful time for self-care, for self-love, for self-worth. And I feel like you're growing so much that you are manifesting love. We have two cows, we have four ones. This is a beautiful relationship. You're manifesting it. But this is getting in the way, okay? So this needs to go. If this is about, even if you don't have already a relationship, you're, you're not already in a relationship, there could be a third party in the shape of a family member trying to protect you, trying to, um, I don't know, just making sure that you're safe, right? And I don't think that that is... It's not that that is not true, but the intention, it's not the only thing that counts. And the action is hurting you more than if they were to do the opposite of what they were doing, right? So I feel like it's up to you to kind of stand up a little bit and speak up. And I really feel like this person could be kind of infiltrating in your relationship. And it's such a beautiful one for you to fight for and work in. 
So don't let anyone ruin what you're building, okay? I feel like that is the biggest message for you this month. Um, in terms of zodiac signs, we have here Pisces, Cancer, okay? I'm getting a little bit of Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. Maybe an Earth sign in general towards Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but yeah, that is it. So let's get you here some advice. Yeah, so we have follow your heart with the situation is not what it seems. Because I feel like you may be getting this person's opinions and this, um, I don't know, you're taking this person's ad uh, advice, not too seriously, but very to the heart and considering a lot. And I feel like you start rethinking your whole relationship when it's something so pure and so beautiful. Same thing if this is about insecurities, right? I feel like you're listening too much to insecurities and not so much to your heart. And that is something that needs to change, okay? That is something that needs to be reviewed. So please pay attention to that and change it, okay? And uh, follow your heart because I feel like your heart is in the right place when it comes to this situation. It's leading you to this beautiful relationship. You love them. They love you. Uh, if you're single, you love the person that you're manifesting or you will love them. And you're manifesting really amazing things for yourself. So again, don't let anyone make you doubt, make you question, you know what you have to do and you know where you're headed. So believe in yourself and trust yourself more than anything, okay? So let's see here. Some fun stuff for you to do. This is just a little extra inspiration for your month, for you to have fun, for you to celebrate life and just enjoy yourself. So let's see here. We have burger night. We have sport event house bedroom makeover bookstore or library we have dollar store oopsie theater gardening and we have boat ride so these are a couple of things that you can do throughout the month you can do these alone with someone else whatever you wish feel free to pause the video and screenshot this if you want to it has a little reminder but that is it so thank you so much for being here if you're interested in that uh, private reading at the beginning of every single month you can join us on patreon the link is going to be down below you as i said in the beginning you'll see over there as well the link for my decks this is one of them uh for my course for my journals for merch anything you want is over there so thank you so much for being here don't forget to smash the like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already i love you very much i wish you the best and hopefully we'll talk very very soon Bye bye